Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Harmer. This is going to be video number 10, and today we're going to be talking about the pluck knob. So let's load up a default patch here. And before we get into the actual knob itself, let's talk about the blur button here, because our last video was about blur. So let's bring down our pluck a little bit here. Let's click blur on. And we might notice that there's no pluck going on. So to demonstrate this, let's right click the frequency cutoff here, and let's go to edit articulator, turn our LFO on. And you might already notice kind of the blur is already taking effect. So basically with this button on, this plug kind of controls the the decay of the blurs. And if you look over here on the blur, you can see that it's, it's grayed out here. Now it's kind of applied more so as a uniform thing. So if we go to the blur local mask and do something like we did before, so let's bring this graph down, let's put some points here, and let's bring this one up maybe bring this one up right here as well. Kind of tuck this in. Okay. So you can see here on these partials here that are these harmonics that it's kind of blurring and decaying it according to this graph. And this pluck knob de controls the decay of those. So pretty low down here, it's not really gonna do much. But the higher we go, we can see it affecting right here. And if we turn on our slide, we can move this a little bit down on the spectrum. So that's basically what that does in a nutshell. So now let's talk about the pluck knob itself. So it basically does what you would think it would do. It's a pluck sound, right? And it makes a pluck thing, very cool. But the real power in this in this knob here is a couple things. So if we right click this, so we can go to the edit articulator and we can draw our typical envelopes if we want to, something kind of like, I don't know, this, or if you wanna. So you can get lost in all these graphs. You have access to LFOs, keyboard mapping, all the other articulation mappings that is kind of typical with uh, with Harmer. But there's also a very cool feature as well. So if we go back to default, let's turn our pluck on, kind of something like this, right? And if we go to our list down here and we go to the pluck shape, this is the really cool part. So this graph down here is basically telling the harmonics how to decay or how fast to decay. And with this graph, we can do some really strange and interesting things. If we did something very dramatic, something kind of like this, right? We can see these partials or these harmonics up here basically have a longer decay time, same actual decay time as the uh, the uh, first hits here, because this uh, value's here at the top. And we can move this around too. And for some reason, when I always do this, when it kind of reminds me of a banjo, In a weird way but you can definitely get very creative in this graph here not the best patch i've made but but that's basically what uh what this thing does here very cool to mess around with and that's pretty much the pluck in a nutshell it's very simplistic but it's also very cool especially with that graph there so hopefully you learn something and we'll see you in the next video